The primary goals of the sensory systems really are three. One is to find food. The other is to avoid danger or avoid being food. And the third is to seek mates. And all of the three are essential, of course, for the survival of individuals and the species. Sensory systems allow animals to take in information from the world for their benefit. For example, for a single cell bacterium, it needs to find food and it uses receptor on its cell surface to detect nutrient molecules. The five common senses are sight or vision, smell or olfaction, taste or gustation, hearing or audition, and the somato sensation, which is touch, temperature, and some chemical senses. They are all carried out by somato sensory systems. So photon is what is detected by the visual system, and then the olfactory and the taste systems are so-called chemical senses, that they detect chemicals in different ranges. Uh, olfaction actually has a pretty variable range, could be far away, could be in the back of your mouth. And a taste usually is a very close range because the food has to be in your mouth. Hearing is, most, is purely detecting mechanical stimuli, the vibration um, that happens in, your, in the ear. And the somatosensory system is interesting. It's a multimodal system. It has different kinds of sensory neurons, some of which are detecting touch or pressure, which is a mechanical stimuli. Others are detecting chemicals, like itchy substance, or the hot chili pepper or peppercorns that go through your mouth. And others are detecting temperature changes. And these are five senses referred to external sensory systems. We also have internal sensory systems or interoception. So interoception is the sensation of your own body and organs and how they function. For instance, how full your bladder is or your stomach is or your lung is inflated so that it will tell you, you know, whether you need to go to bathroom, you need to eat or you should stop eating or you should uh, inhale more oxygen. So, they, of course, they are all essential for the survival of the animal. So, interoception is no less important than externalception. For many animals, they actually have the so-called extraordinary senses. One example is the magnetoreception. They are used by migrating birds and the butterflies to carry out their long-distance migrations. There is also electroreception by some of the fish that detect electrical fields. Studying sensory systems actually have a lot of experimental advantages that allow uh, researchers to identify general principles of how nervous systems work by using sensory systems as a model. One example is that action potential, the, the signal between neurons to neurons, they either have it or they don't have it. The all or none properties of the action potential was discovered originally by studying um, somatosensory system. All sensory systems share some common features. They express specific receptors to detect specific sensory stimuli. They will convert sensory stimuli into electric signals, a common language understood by the rest of the nervous system. They optimize detection sensitivity, reliability, and speed, and they extract useful biological information for the benefit of the animal.